Yeah, I don't know. Something is too many people here. Yeah, something is not right. So can you uh, can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Okay, so I hope this is okay. So let me begin uh, with the show sharing uh, some uh, Uh, now you've frozen. Frozen again? Mm -hmm. So I think we may have to ask people to, uh, can you, uh, sorry, but uh, the people who might do later, can you get out from the studio and come back later, if that's okay? So it seems like a little too crowded somehow. Uh, when it comes to a lot of people, sometimes it happens. And then the, but people who you need to do early, please do stay. And then maybe after the people who are going to do from after 8.30, uh, we'll just step down from here and so that uh, we can start. I hope uh, you hear me all right. Hmm. You okay? So... And uh, we'll start with the uh, music, kind of meditating, so that we'll be ready for it. So bring the peace lights. That's where we're going to begin. Maybe Chris, can you uh, just give the greeting first? Anyway, it seems like some some uh, something is not working for me, my side. Okay, let me begin. Mm -hmm. Good evening, and ohayou gozaimasu to those in Japan. I am Chris Davy, treasurer of the Heiwa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation of New York. Many thanks for the opening video, which we will see soon. And thanks to the Seven Rivers Photography Club from Hiroshima for Kenka offering flowers and Yuta Yasuchiro for the photos of Nagasaki that we will see soon. Tonight marks the 76th anniversary of the dropping of the bomb over Nagasaki. We gather to commemorate all those who lost their lives and those who were directly affected by the event with prayers that such an event will never occur again. 10.02 is 11, 10 .02 p.m. is 11.02 a.m. in Japan. That marks the time the bomb was dropped. We will honor this moment with a period of silence. Tonight, various speakers, artists, and religious leaders of many faiths are joining us. One side note, our program continues until 10.40 tonight. After that, we will play some videos, which unfortunately could not be shown on August 5th due to technical difficulties. Please stay longer if you can to view these. Now let me please introduce Dr. Reverend T.K. Nakagaki, president of the Heiwa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation of New York. Reverend T.K. is a Buddhist priest, a Hiroshima peace ambassador, and a Nagasaki peace correspondent. A more detailed biography of Reverend TK and other speakers will appear as stickers in the lower screen. 
Reverend PK, welcome. Uh, so, good morning. I mean, uh, to Japan, and then good evening here, New York. Um, can you hear me all right? Maybe not. I'm not in a screen yet. We we can hear you, TK. Oh, is that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you so much. Um, so we'll begin uh, today's uh, Hiroshima, I mean, Nagasaki Day. So we're following Hiroshima, Nagasaki. This is a part of the uh, interface peace gathering that we have this year, part two for Nagasaki Day. So uh, we will do uh, begin the uh, this ceremony. But um, one thing that I'd like to mention that start before I start. Uh, so, so this the gathering has been twenty eighth time, and we're very grateful for all your help that we receive. Uh, by this time, and uh, also, uh, what how we're going to deliver the uh, things of uh, peace message, and so. Um, The, uh, I hope I'm moving okay. I, I think it's something is uh, came to in the back of my screen too. But uh, Nagasaki, I just wanted to make sure that we're connected to Nagasaki before we begin. But um, yeah, so let me. Hmm. So I, I thought this time I should be okay, but somehow uh, stuck in the uh, uh, some technical things again. Um, so, but uh, hmm, it is something that very uh, difficult to do. I, I hope Nagasaki parts will be connected at this point. Um, I need to figuring out what's wrong again. I feel like I my my screen is totally soft. so. Um, yeah, I to to show what is going on, but maybe I'll take out some of the attachment. Too much attachment seems like everything is. As a too much attachment, so we can't move around. So, um, let me somehow I cannot connect to the uh, Nagasaki. Can Chris t take? Are you uh, yours uh, working okay to be able to connect the person?
Hello, back again. But um, well, well. Anyway, I need to connect to the uh, Nagasaki parts, but I hope I can take you there. Oh, finally. Can you hear me? Good evening. Can you hear my voice? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm frozen too. It seems that way. We can hear you, Mari. Mari san. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. It seems uh, Reverend PK is having trouble, but yeah, Marty, you could begin reporting. Oh, ま、Marisan, can you hear me? Oh, can you hear me okay? Oh. Hi, hi. Can you hear my voice? Yes, we can, yes. The ceremony part. Yes, we hear you. Yes? Okay. Um, now I'm at Nagasaki uh, Atomic Bomb Hype Center, and today many students coming. So I will ask them. So, Kimasa. Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad. Good morning. <laughs> いや。今日は、はい、えっと、高校生平田氏、そして高校生1万人署名を牽引されているはい。私は平野信人と申します。I am え、1946年、すなわち戦争が終わった翌年に生まれました。And was born in 1946, which means that I was born after the World War II. 長崎の原爆で私の母が被爆者になりました。え、父は出生して、え、帰国した後に私が生まれました。my mother was a hibakusha, survived from atomic bomb in Nagasaki, and so I am second generation called Hibaku Nisei. My father went to war in China, and after he returned, I was born. え、高校生の時に、え、私の親友を白血病で亡くして、え、核兵器をなくさなければという、え、決意をしました。in high school, I lost my close friend by leukemia. This experience made me think that nuclear weapons need to be eliminated from our world. Then I decided to teach children about preciousness of peace as an elementary school teacher. 
あ台湾の被爆者の救済の運動にも関わりました。On the other hand, I have been deeply involved in movement to support and relieve h i b a k s h i r atomic a bomb victims in Korea, China, America, Brazil, and Taiwan. In 1998, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the people who are in the world are in the world. In 1998, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, で、えー、今日まで、えー、国連、えー、今日まで国連に核兵器の廃絶と平和な世界の実現を求めて運動を続けています、えー、この間この20年間に運動に関わった、えー、生徒スチューデントはおよそ3000人に上ります Up until now, more than 3,000 students have joined this activity since we have continued for more than 20 years now. 夏の暑い日も冬の寒い日も私たちは高校生は、えー、町に立ち核兵器の廃絶と平和な実世界の実現を訴えてきました。もう一回。やがてあのこの活動はえー、国内外に知られるようになりました、えー、2018年以降はノーベル平和賞の候補に、えー、ノミネートされています、えー、国際的にこの運動の広がりを感じています It is known widely and became a candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize in 2018しかし核兵器をなくすというこの運動大きな目標は、えー、簡単に達成すすされるものではありません、えー、世界の英知を結集して核兵器のない平和な世界の実現に、えー、取り組まなければなりません However, it is not easy to achieve the world without nuclear weapons. 未来を作る若者にはその責務がありますそして我々は目的を達成するまで、えー、こ,のこの取り組みを続けていきたいと思います日本の若者の声を聞いてください。まず聞いてみるやつね。I'm second year of high school,、uh, so I'll tell the, my opinion of peace. We are working for a world without nuclear weapons. By this, we need to raise awareness by telling the world about how destructive nuclear weapons are. Not only nuclear weapons, but any other weapons used in war. A peaceful world is a world for everyone to smile and be happy. Peace to me. It's not only the absence of war, it involves a lot. It requires treating your neighbors with respect, love, not being or saying mean words, and reducing or making sure there is no tension among people. I believe this can promote peace, in my opinion. We cannot do this alone or by ourselves. We need your help to make this wish for peace come true. So, Please lend us your support and let's work together for world peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your peace message and the translation. <laughs> it's, it's very hard. <laughs> How do you see、uh, this atmosphere?、Um, so, it's for the first time to come and to play with、uh, your friends. Yeah, that's the、um, first time. How do you see?、Uh, uh, now it's.、Uh, Coronavirus、uh, in the pandemic. Yeah, so, but 
we could together today. So I believe that it is important for future. I think it's really important. Yeah, <laughs> I think. はい、とても力強いインタビューをありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。はい。このコロナ禍でもあるけれども、みんなここで集まって一緒にドライブことに意味があるということです。はい。え、世界の人々が集まって平和な世界を作りましょう。我々の
hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. その歌は疲れ切った人々のため息。それは私の家の玄関から幾日も離れない。ああ、辛い辛い時代よ。どうか二度と来ないでおくれ。May peace prevail on earth. 世界人類が平和でありますように。Thank you very much. では音楽をお聴きください。Let's start the music. 中垣先生、よろしくお願いいたします。
Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, um, Reverend TK. Will we go back to my son? You muted. You muted TK. Me back actually. So uh, somehow still she's not back. So um, because one of the reason the next uh, person that I would like to introduce is the Migiwa-san, uh, who was actually somehow connected through the Mari-san, Mari uh, uh, Maeda. So, so that's why I wanted to her to introduce. However, she was mentioning, I don't know how far is it to walk towards there. So, you know, but so for, maybe after, if she can come back later, then we will have uh, some conversation with uh, uh, Migiwa-san. Okay. So let me ask her to join us. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Cool. Thank you very much for joining today. Thank you for having me. Very grateful that you are able to join us today. Thank you. So let me talk about the, the piece I wrote for today, and then we can still wait for Marie. And mm -hmm. if she's connected, we can have her join. Yes. Yeah. So um, tonight, I'm going to use this video, and then I will share with you one newly, newly made piece that I, uh, I wrote for tonight, special, especially for tonight. So this year it was interesting because I... I had I found a lot of new friends and many of them were from Nagasaki and I found that the, how many friends from Nagasaki are they all all to make this whole world towards the peace so and I wanted to appreciate what they are doing and um yeah, so to make this piece special, I listened to the, the church that the uh, Uragami Church, um, the bell, there's a bell that the, they found after the bomb. Um, and uh, that I listened to the, the video of the recording of the, the, the exact bell so many times and the transcribed the sound. And uh, so this piece start with my, um, I'm mimicking, I'm copying the sound of the bell in the beginning of this piece. And that the, the bell sound is going to sound more like we are marching for peace. So I call this piece as a Nagasaki marches for peace. So I hope you like it. So Nakagaki-san, I think we can play the video now, then we can still wait for Mari-san. How about that? Is it cool? Yeah, it's just. Uh, Can we play the video? Or I'm talking to, I'm trying to get connected with Marie too. So, Marie is um, uh, for the audience watching this video. Uh, Marie is in Nagasaki City right now and I'm trying to show us the church that I'm talking about. So, she's going to log in now and it will show us that the church. We can do it later or now. I'm hoping that will come. The music come. Yep. So this is the video. Let's hear the music together.
It looks like uh, Reverend TK may have uh, gone to reboot his computer. Um, thank you for the beautiful music. Um, maybe while we're waiting, uh, Reverend TK may have. Uh, Maybe while we're waiting, we could introduce the next speaker, Mr. Nobu Kimoto, who will read a message from Nagasaki. Mr. Kimoto is president of Nagasaki Kenjin Kai and Bantan Kai of New York. Okay. Welcome. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, welcome. Hi. All right, uh, thank you uh, for your introduction. And uh, my name is Nobu Kimoto. I'm a second generation Ibakusha from Nagasaki. I lived in New York for 25 years and currently I'm a member of New York Nagasaki Kenjinkai, also the chairman of New York Batenkai. At this time, I will read the mayor of Nagasaki's message for peace. On behalf of the citizens of Nagasaki, I would like to extend this message to the Interface Peace Gathering commemoration of Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombings. First of all, I would like to express my deep respect and gratitude to the organizers for organizing this annual event to offer prayer to the repose of the soul of the atomic bomb victims and for peace. At 11.02 a.m. August 9, 1945, Nagasaki was instantly destroyed by a single atomic bomb. 74,000 precious lives were lost. And the further 75,000 were injured. Based on this tragic experience, the atomic bomb survivors and the citizens of Nagasaki have continued to appeal for the realization of a world without nuclear weapons so as to make sure that no one else in the world will ever experience the same tragic what by the use of nuclear weapons in january of this year as we marked 76 years from the atomic bombing the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons entered into force. This also marked a new beginning towards the realization of a world without nuclear weapons. Just as a voice calling for the abolition of nuclear weapons facilitated the birth of the TPNW, we, civil society, must work together and continue to speak out more than ever before in order to utilize the treaty's entry into force as momentum to accelerate progress towards the abolition of nuclear weapons. The key to doing so will be for many people to share their wishes for the abolition of nuclear weapons by utilizing opportunities such as this event. I, ha I firmly believe that combination of each and every precious action will create a large moment that will ultimate affect change in the world. I sincerely hope that through this event, the seed of peace will be sown in your hearts and for it to grow. Spreading the culture of peace throughout to the world. In closing, 
I extend my best wishes for the successful event and for the good health and the continued success of all guests and participants. August 8, 2021. Tomihisa Tawue, Mayor of Nagasaki. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kimoto. Our next speaker is Mr. Tak Furumoto. Mr. Tak is the honorary chair of the New York Hiroshima Kai, and he's attending this event for the 28th year. Welcome, Mr. Furumoto. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Good evening and good morning, people in Nagasaki. As I was introduced, I'm an honorary chairman of Hiroshima Kai of New York and a founder of this group. For past 28 years, Reverend Nakagaki and Hiroshima Kai have been commemorating this event by leading peace decoration of mayor of Hiroshima, Alpha Player, together with interfaith religious group the victim of atomic bomb and Hibakusha in the world, and had been doing or walking the silent march, which last couple of years we could not do due to the pandemic. And Shin Hiroshima Television has been telecasting this back to Hiroshima so that Hibakusha and their loved ones can watch the event in New York, a country that dropped the bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This evening, Michi Takeuchi will be reading the peace decoration. She is the chairman of Hiroshima Kai. Also, she was instrumental in producing film, a biography of Setsuko Thero, a recent Nobel Prize winner. She and, and uh, Michi Takeuchi attended Hiroshima Joga Queen. Of course, they're quite a few years apart. And the preview of this film will be shown a little later. Now, the message of the mayor of Hiroshima. Thank you. This was supposed to be videoed by uh, Michi Takeuchi, uh, which she read because she could not make the uh, event Good today. My name is Michi Takeuchi. I am the president of New York Hiroshima Association. I grew up in Hiroshima and my family survived the atomic bombing. Today, I'd like to share with you the highlights of the peace declaration made by the mayor of Hiroshima, Mayor Matsui. On this day, 76 years ago, a single atomic bomb instantly reduced our hometown to a scorched plain. That bombing brought cruel death to countless innocent victims and left those who managed to survive with profound lifelong physical and emotional injuries due to radiation. Fear of after effect and economic hardship. I'm sorry, we seem to have lost that video. Um, 
Well, thank you, Mr. Fudumoto. I, I guess um, we'll go on to uh, welcome our keynote speaker. Um, our keynote speaker tonight is Ms. Monica Willard. Sorry, sorry, before that, oh. sorry, sorry, interrupting. Sure. Um, so with the, Marisan is back from the Nagasaki. So just we just want her to uh, have introduced a little conversation uh, left, <laughs> left out. So if it's okay. はい、大丈夫です。はい。で、ここにはこれは昭和2つの小老がある裏紙天使堂になりました。ごめんなさい。<笑> ラカミ天使堂にいるんですけども、この側には前の裏紙天使堂の小廊が今もあるので、そちらの方に行きますね。それは坂になってるんですけど。この長崎は紫陽花の時期は終わって、ひまわりが咲いているところなんですが、こち
but the, 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 the miracle was that the day people found that the bell still, that the bell that we can still listen to. So they brought it to the new place and then we can still hear the sound. So that inspired me. And I, I decided to write the, the new music out of, from that inspiration. So thank you for Marie actually showing this. Like I have never seen this one. So I'm glad I could see it. Thank you. Thank you. So now should we play the, the video from the, the beginning again? Yeah. Yes. We want to see the new Migira sons. Yeah. Yeah. She made this song for for this occasion. So for tonight, yes. Yes. Nagasaki March for peace, those of right.
I think we are facing the, the technical problem again. I think so. Thank you so much, Ms. Miyajima. Um, let's go now to our keynote speaker for tonight. Um, the keynote speaker is Ms. Monica Willard. Ms. Willard is a charter member of the United Religions Initiative, URI, and serves as a representative to the United Nations. Welcome, Ms. Willard. Hello, everyone. I want to make sure I've got the camera right. Okay. Um, can you see my name on the... Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for this wonderful program. I've enjoyed it. And technical problems to hear the song about the bell. When I think about the peace bell at the UN and the work of the children from around the world and the roles that Japan had in getting that to the UN, the bell and is, is such an important symbol of peace. And I just want to say thank you. And I think that this shows some of the struggles that peace has and brings to us. Just little glitches happen. And yet the tone is so important. And the love of the music is just, just profound. I thank you. And I also thank Reverend Dr. T.K. Nakagawi and the Hiwa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation for invite, inviting me to address this most special two-part gathering. The first part focused on Hiroshima. And tonight we come together remembering the anniversary of the bombing by the United States of America on the city of Nagasaki on August 9th, 1946. And we're here to address healing, not just from the wounds of war, war, but from the false belief that nuclear weapons make us safe or powerful. I am a founding member of the United Religions Initiative. As an organization, we are the largest grassroots interfaith organization working in 113 countries. And our members are formed in cooperation circles. And one of our cooperation circles, the Voices for a World Free of Nuclear Weapons, is one that I work with with our founder. Um, he was the Episcopal Bishop of the state of California. He is now called the Right Reverend William Sw E. Swing. And he founded this cooperation circle because nuclear abolition is something that we stand so strongly with. We open our regular meetings with the nuclear prayer and it was written by Bishop Swing. And I'm going to share it with you to set the tone and purpose for my remarks tonight. And then I'm gonna go on to share my personal experience and some of the actions that we can take together as citizens of the world to address the importance, urgency and moral responsibility we have to work to abolish nuclear weapons. I begin with the prayer. The beginning and the end are in your hands, O creator of the universe. And in our hands, you have placed the fate of this planet. We who are tested by having both creative and destructive power in our free will, turn to you in sober fear and intoxicating hope. We ask for your guidance to share in our and your imagination in our deliberations about the use of nuclear force. Help us to lift the fog of atomic darkness that hovers so pervasively over our earth, your earth, so that soon all eyes may see life magnified by your pure light. Bless all of us who wait today for your presence and who dedicate ourselves to achieve your intended peace and rightful equilibrium on earth in the name of all that is holy and all that is hoped. Amen. May peace prevail on earth. I invite each of us to think about this prayer as we take just a minute to take breaths together with peace breathing, I invite you to take a deep breath as you're watching on Zoom or on Facebook later. 
take a deep breath with the word world, and then we will take a deep breath out with peace. World, peace. World, peace. With those two words and the actions of our breaths, we are not only connected, we are planting that message of peace in the breath that goes out into the universe. And as I was writing this, I also was remembering how it was an atomic explosion that put the radioactivity into the air that came down and rained the black rain down on so many people. The power of the breath, the air, our interconnectedness is what we need at this particular time. And I appreciate my connection with each of you tonight. We can, pre we can pray, we can breathe, and we can act to build community to create a world free of nuclear weapons. As a citizen of the United States born after World War II, I learned about nuclear bombs first by reading a small little book as a freshman in high school that held an impact that changed and formed my life. Hiroshima by John Hersey was a signed reading. It changed me and it just brings the stories to life of what people lived through on August the 6th, 1945. Um, I became concerned about nuclear energy in the 70s in California when I learned that a nuclear power plant was being planned, it was later built, on an earthquake fault line. I questioned the plan and, that, and then I realized how much there was to learn because why would anyone put a nuclear power plant on a fault line? I'm pleased to say that that plant is now um, it, out of service, but it, we don't always have to take these plans and knowledge and do nothing with it. But I didn't feel that yet in the 70s. It took me moving to New York in 1980. And I saw what citizens working together and how they could make a difference in addressing nuclear issues. There was a nuclear power plant on Long Island that was about to open. And the people worked with the law, with the guidelines that were set into place on what was needed to build a nuclear power plant. They voiced concern because there was no way there could be an event evacuation plan off Long Island, even in the 80s. It's much worse with traffic now. It would be like trying to get out of downtown Tokyo in five minutes. It won't happen, regardless of what the plan says. So by looking and following the letter of the law and gathering people in who were concerned, public opinion turned into preventing the opening of a nuclear power plant. It also began a movement that touched me throughout my entire life. The ribbon went around the Pentagon to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima. And it also went around the Hiroshima Dome and these cloth panels This one holds the planet. And this holds the hopes, dreams, and prayers of people from around the world. And these one meter panels went around the dome on the Hiroshima and in Hiroshima and around the Pentagon in Washington, DC, over the bridge down throughout the city for 23 miles. This art project connected people deeply because we talked about it. We made them in groups. We shared them in public. It makes a difference that we take this issue from our heart, from our minds, and do something with it to make a difference. And whether it is with beautiful music to enlighten us to tell a story, with an art project like The Ribbon, 
whether it's with prayers, whether it is by contacting your legal, your business people to get them to stop funding nuclear weapons, the banks, the corporations that allow this to happen. We have some legal ways to bring it to them. And one of the newest one um, is the treaty um, to ban nuclear weapons. And um, I need to just backtrack a bit because I hit the wrong button on my mouse because um, I wanted to say that the ribbons were my step into the United Nations. It was where I met TK Nakagaki many years ago. Um, it connected me to the Committee of Religious NGOs, to different departments within the UN, to governments. And I've had the joy of being able to share different prayers. But one of the ones that connects me most deeply to Japan is the prayer, may peace prevail on earth. And that was given to Masahi Shigoi, the founder of who originated and it's now the May Peace Prevail on Earth International, um, for us to use a simple prayer like that throughout our day. And he got this as an inspiration because Japan had received the atom bombs. And he said it was up to the Japanese people to be the peacemakers and to transform the world. So even with the horrors of nuclear weapons and the destruction that was happening, a prayer shifted the form of action and connection. And to me, one of the miracles that I know is I have had the, fort the good fortune of knowing so many people from Japan because my husband was with a major Japanese camera industry company. And we met and he worked with them and it's hard to envision more with people you know. And the reality is places like Zoom connect us. We're meeting people from all over the world. But I have had the good fortune to connect on the personal level with so many wonderful people in Japan. And I just have to say, arigato gozaimasu. Unfortunately, those are the only two words that I really know in Japanese, but I do so honor the culture, the traditions, and the care, but also the outreach. We must work across bridges, across oceans, not just as two countries. There are nine nuclear countries, and the UN, with the passing of the um, TPNW showed that it was the countries without the nuclear weapons because they had the legal ability to say, these weapons affect me. We must stop them. We can't have a successful planet. We must use the money, the science, the brilliant scientific minds that are going into these weapons and shift it to creating a new environment. Um, I just find this to be such an auspicious moment um, because of the Olympic Games. I want to thank Japan. But the alignment of the Tokyo Olympics on the anniversary rec of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it, it brings in another point. Think about how different these Olympics are from any other. The COVID-19 realities and requirements limited global participation, but it served to put a special emphasis on health and safety. Our global health, our interconnectedness and the need to protect everyone in order for anyone to be safe is directly 
is directly related to this anniversary weekend. It is an auspicious moment. And may the Olympic spirit of excellence, practice, competition, combined with the global force, focus to be a measure of what is needed to ignite the hearts of people everywhere, to focus on the abolition of all nuclear weapons. May the attacks on Japan in 1946 be the last use of nuclear weapons in war. And with testing, we cannot forget that. So there are some actions that we can be doing. And there are a couple of places that I would like to invite you to look at. Voices for a World Free of Nuclear Weapons has a website. And I would love for you to see the nuclear prayer there and some of the cartoons. I don't know if TK came on because I was going over time. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't hear that. Okay. Uh, so look at the websites, educate yourself, support the test ban treaty, and take it into your heart and into your communities. We must work together to carefully make sure that these bombs are never used again. May peace prevail on Earth. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ms. Willard. Um, the Haywa Foundation wants to acknowledge those donors who have supported this program. Please contribute if you can. Um, there is a QR code here, which you can use, or you can visit the Haywa Foundation website. Thank you, everyone. And now we'll introduce um, the piece art, TK. Yeah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So I guess this is about. Um, So that was a long time ago. However, I still can remember every little thing as it happened yesterday, but I have forgotten all the bad things happened to me and my life is perfect right now. So uh, I'd like you to know that. Uh, however, I lost my husband three, three and a half years ago, and I live here by myself, but uh, uh, the, everyone is very good to me, and uh, I'm the luckiest person in the whole world. So about the atomic bomb, that was uh, 8.15 to be exact, on over 6, 1945, and uh, uh, at that time, we didn't go to, uh, we had to give up the uh, uh, pen and the notebook, you know. So we had to go to uh, work in the government factory to support the uh, uh, war affair. So anyway, so I was on the outside of this factory and uh, I saw the B-29. Sorry, we lost a connection. We'll wait for TK to come back. I'm not sure why that's that. So, uh, do you want to ask? Uh, 
possibly Shinji Harada. So he's here now. So let me try something else. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, TK Nagayak-san. Uh, this is Shinji Harada, a musician. Uh, I appreciate you being here for this peace event. Um, I will, I'll be performing with the Shine Choir again this year. Uh, Shine Choir mainly organized from my fan club members. Uh, we hope our we hope our performance and message will send you all our passion for peace. I see you later. Enjoy. I'll get back to you. Hi everyone. My name is Shinji Harada. I'm a singer songwriter based in Japan, and I have been performing overseas these past years. <clears throat> in the midst of the global pandemic due to COVID-19 since last year, we have come to a crossroads where we have to think about many things and choose our future. Do we open the door to the idea that only what matters is your own good, or the door to the idea that we should help one other? We already know the answer to that question. That's why we are now all facing this challenge that confronts the entire human race. World harmony and world peace is the, another challenge. Each one of us must put aside our selfishness and choose to live our lives with love and compassion for others. True world peace will be achieved when this desire reached and every one of us expands to the point where the hearts of over 7 billion people are directed in the same way towards kindness. Let's fight the virus of selfishness that causes violence and brutality to others and cure it with the powerful vaccine of kindness. The spirit comment that has befallen all of humanity has an opportunity to reclaim kindness and start walking towards true world peace. Now is the time to turn adversity into opportunity and practice acts of kindness. Anyone can be a lighthouse So Nagasaki Kala Hajime Yo All right Come on Nagasaki Kala Hajime Yo Oh, 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 oh,
So it seems still not moving. Okay. So I'm sorry, we seem to be having technical difficulties again. Shinji, is there anything you'd like to say? this situation no problem maybe <laughs> later <laughs> okay yeah. okay thank you yeah. well the next portion of our video is, uh, program is video so I'm hoping that Reverend TK can come back soon Where are you now? Uh, well, um, I guess a Shinji gate has finished and um, I wanted to uh, introduce the other two supporting community organizations. Koji Sato of the Japanese American Association of New York and Reno Aise of the Tiara Group. Yeah, I hope this one works. That's, that's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Yep. See how it's. So somehow everything stuck, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, this time it works okay. Um, so, okay. uh, what time is it now? Oh, okay, so still. Or should we go to our religious yeah. leaders? Start, uh, yeah, probably it's probably better to do something for human beings. I guess <laughs> somehow the videos are also not, somehow they don't read it. I don't know why it only lasts one minute or so. Um, so, so can you hear 
Yeah, so maybe we can start with just Dieter, if you can hear me. Okay. Um, let's welcome Reverend Peter Cook, Executive Director of the New York State Council of Churches. Ms. Reverend mm -hmm. Cook. Okay. Um, let's welcome Reverend Peter Cook, Executive Director of the New York State Council of Churches. Ms. Reverend Cook. Okay. Let's um, okay. welcome Reverend Peter Cook, Executive Director of the New York State Council of Churches. Ms. Reverend Cook. Okay. Um, yes, greetings. Welcome, greetings, Reverend everyone. Okay. Yes. Greetings, everyone. I'm okay. the Reverend Peter Cook. Greetings, everyone. And okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm sorry. There is an awful feedback. Reverend. Okay. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Reverend. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, greetings, everyone. Can you hear me now. My name is yes. the Reverend Peter Cook, right. and I'm the executive director. Reverend of the new okay. Council okay. of Churches. Oh, greetings, everyone. Right now. My name is yes. the Reverend Peter Cook. And I'm the executive director of the new okay. Council okay. of Churches. Oh, greetings, everyone. Right now. I'm sorry. Um... My name is the Reverend Lots of feedback. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, perhaps you want me you... to re-enter? Yes, please. I'm sorry. Okay, no worries. I'm sorry. Um, Let me re-enter. Is it Venerable Rifa here? Amen Tofu. Amen Tofu. Can you hear? Uh, 
Krishna, please go ahead. Good evening. Can, can you guys hear? Yes. CK? Yes, we can. Hello? Hello? Can you hear? Yes, we can hear you, so please stop. Stop my play. Good evening, everybody. My name is Rui Fa C. I'm from the uh, Brooklyn, New York. My temple is in Brooklyn. And I also a vice president of the Buddhist Council of New York. Uh, I'm very glad he, to enter this event. Especially these days, the world needs more peace. So we come together, we play together. We hope the world will peace. We live in the world now. Be peace. Now I'm uh, chanting a Chinese Buddhist uh, uh, sutras like uh, heart sutras, um, and that's uh, for the even for the peace of the world. I will start.
but will be peaceful for every sentient beings in the middle. Thank, thank you, Reverend Venerable Shi. I'd like to introduce now Reverend Peter Cook, Executive Director of the New York State Council of Churches. Reverend Cook. Greetings, everyone. My name is Reverend Peter Cook, and I'm the Executive Director of the New York State Council of Churches. We're also closely connected to the National Council of Churches and the World Council of Churches. And it's really a humble honor to be here with all of you today, as we remember the tragedy that took place in Nagasaki and also Hiroshima. I offer to you this reflection and prayer. O oh God of peace, God of mercy, and God of justice, give us strength to remember the unspeakable nuclear horror that took place in Hiroshima and Nagasaki 76 years ago. Do not let us suffer from amnesia, but instead grant us courage to remember well so that we can more clearly see the injustices of war and discrimination which can take place in our time and act to resolve our conflicts before they escalate. While we give thanks for the pictures of unity in the Olympics in Tokyo, a number of miles from Nagasaki, we know that just below the surface a lethal virus lurked at the games, which affected athletes along with the most vulnerable the world over, especially where the vaccine is tragically inaccessible. May our privilege and wealth not impair our willingness to marshal all the needed resources to prevent the most vulnerable from dying and while the virus still rages on, we are deeply disturbed that the prospect of nuclear holocaust remains as we dump far more dollars into the ever escalating development of weapons of mass destruction than we invest in programs to in vaccine the world over. What is the matter with us? Help us, O oh God, to heal our wounded imaginations, that we may courageously fall to our knees to confess our individual and collective sins, and then embrace the words of Isaiah, who said that it shall come to pass that the peoples shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks, where nation shall not lift up sword against nation, and neither shall they learn war anymore. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Cook, and thank you for your patience with our technology. You're welcome. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce Peter Regina of the Peace Light Project. Peter. Namaste, everybody. Thank you for welcoming Peace Lights and myself to this commemoration. Uh, thank you to the organizers, Reverend TK, the Hiwa Peace and Reconcilia Foundation, as well as everyone listening around the world and specifically those in Nagasaki. To complement these commemorations for the past several years, I've had the privilege of bringing peace lights that you see behind me here. And it's an increasingly recognized symbol of peace from around the world. 
So it really has a place at commemorations such as this, solemn events where uh, the symbolism can come through. The symbolism for peace lights has come through around the world on six or seven continents nearly 40 times at the United Nations and United Nations related events. And Peace Lights has been adopted as a symbol of peace by peace organizations from 19 countries. The symbolism is that the colors represent the different cultures in the world. And the motion represents how those cultures interact and work together to achieve harmony and peace and good energy. Wherever Peace Lights plays around the world, People are encouraged to project their own thoughts and intents for peace into the lights, thereby contributing to the collective energy that comes from literally all corners of the globe and is available for anyone who sees or even thinks about the lights as a symbol of solidarity for actions of peace, as a symbol of support if things are, are not going well, as a symbol of togetherness where we can all unite and hopefully help enable peace to prevail on an earth that is free from nuclear weapons. This year, Reverend TK has also asked me to contribute earth shall realize we have not come into being to hate or to destroy. We have come into being to praise, to labor, and to love. Compassionate God, bless the leaders of all nations with the power of compassion. Fulfill the promise conveyed in scripture. I will bring peace to the land. And you shall lie down and no one shall terrify you. I will rid the land of vicious beasts and it shall not be ravaged by war. Let love and justice flow like a mighty stream. Let peace fill the earth as the waters fill the sea. And let us say, Amen. Shalom, Shanti, peace, Namaste. Thank you, Peter. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Olorimi Remy Alapo, Director of the Institute for Peace and Leadership. Dr. Alapo. Everyone, peace and blessings to you. Thank you, uh, Reverend Tiki Nagakaki, for the invitation. It is a pleasure to be here today. And as we celebrate the 28th Annual Interfaith Peace Gathering, I would like to wish everyone peace and blessings. This, is this, um, this year marks the 76 atomic bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. I would like to offer a poem, and it's a poem in um, Yoruba, um, a language widely spoken in the Western part of Nigeria, and also um, in the diaspora in places like in Brazil and so on and so forth. And this poem is a peace poem that is translated into Nigeria, written by Zainab um, Bisolu. And um, the poem goes, To bagbadun ojoto sokale, alafia awa si odore. To bagbo eye ton korin, alafia awa si odore. To bari eja ti onwe ni nu omi, alafia awa si odore. To bari awa mwode ton rerin. Alafia, yo wa si odore. Ati to bag, ati to bag bo, korin, nikba to rin, ni no igbo, nikba to rin, ni no igbo. Alafia, wa si odore. To ba dake, joko, to ngu urun, to so kale. Alafia, a wa si odore. Alafia, ko wa si odore bo bo wa. And the translation is, when you enjoy raindrops, peace comes to you. 
When you hear birds sing, peace comes to you. When you see fishes swim in clean water, peace comes to you. When you hear children laugh, peace comes to you. And when you hear or hum walking in the woods, peace comes to you. When you sit quietly and watch the sun rise or set, peace comes to you. May peace come to everybody in everything that we are doing. And as we mark the 76th anniversary, may we not see any more Hiroshima's or Nagasaki in our lifetimes. With that, I would like to leave you with another prayer, the Lord's Prayer, also in Yoruba language. Baba wa timbe ni onu, kabo wo fun oru kore, ki ijoba arede, ti re ni ki a she ni aye, bi a tin she ni onu. Ma fa wa si nu idan wo, ba wa lo wo bilisi, tori ijoba ni ti re, agbara ni ti re, ogo ni ti re, lai lai, ami, 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 a she and peace be unto you all. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you, Dr. Aleppo. Now, I think we, we're going to try to get a connection with uh, Nagasaki. Yes. Um, are you able to try this? Uh, I sent to that chat of the numbers. So if you can uh, connect it somehow there, that would be great. Somehow. Um, and uh, so one of the things that I we're going to do here now is we try to connect to the Nagasaki. The ceremony is going on. Last night, there's a lot of uh, storm because of the typhoon and the typhoon pass. So now it's what we are going on there is the ceremony in Nagasaki. And it's about almost close to the 10 or 2. So, so we are joining the people in Nagasaki. Oh, uh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Um, I wonder whether I can share that somehow. And um, but let's see if uh, hmm. yeah, it should. Uh, does anybody can? Oh, maybe not. Uh, anybody can share. To some, some of you can share this page. I have listed there for, um, but um, I just want to know whether we can show this. Right now, they are giving the flowers to the other side. Maybe I can share this to the public. Mr. Tamaki Yuichiro, representing Democratic Party for the People. Ms. Fukushima Mizuho, representing the Social Democratic Party. Ms. Nakamitsu Izumi, the United Nations Under Secretary General and representative for this armament. Mr. Nakamura Hodo, Governor of Nagasaki. Mr. Sakamoto Tomonori, the Speaker of Nagasaki Prefectural Assembly. Mr. Matsui Kazumi, Mayor of Hiroshima City. Mr. Yamada Haruo, Speaker of Hiroshima City Council. Ms. Nomura Akiko, representing Hibakusha in Hiroshima City. Mr. Kata, Kato Asataro and Ms. Uematsu Ichiko, representing bereaved families of deceased Hibakusha in Japan. Mr. Regis Sabio, head of delegation in Japan International Committee of the Red Cross. His Excellency, Mr. Shihab Ahmed Alfafin, Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Japan. His Excellency, Mr. Elf Monodo Onora, Ambassador of the Republic of Haiti to Japan. His Excellency, Mr. Martin Tomcho, Ambassador of Czech Republic to Japan. His Excellency, Mr. Makalin Abisola Adichuk, Ambassador of Republic of Benin to Japan.
So 11.02 is the time. So one more minute to do the prayer. So I hope uh, you will join and be ready for uh, express your um, respect on those people who are killed by the atomic bombs, as well as those people who were killed during the World War II. And uh, so we wish for the peace as we hear the bell. And so, thank you. Please hang in there a little bit longer. Was it drop? It is 10, 10 02 now. We could. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. So we just ring the bell then in that case. So they are doing now there too. You may be seated. Nagasaki Peace Declaration. The mayor of Nagasaki City will deliver the peace declaration to the world. A declaration will be sent to the heads of all UN member states and to the local government bodies in Japan. The declaration will also be transmitted to the world via the internet. At least you can hear. Okay, let's just hear. The, uh, Mr. Taube is coming up. He's on a stage now. The Nagasaki Peace Declaration. This year saw the passing of a Catholic monk. Ozaki Tome spent his whole life following in the footsteps of Father Maximilian Kolbe, the man who was called the Saint of Auschwitz. Brother Ozaki spoke out about his experiences in the atomic bombings up until just before his life came to a close at the age of 93. In his diary, he left behind these words. The countries of the world, all of them, must completely abolish nuclear weapons or there will be no peace on earth. Nuclear weapons are not conventional bombs. Only those who experience the atomic bombings can understand the terror inherent in radiation. Parents, children, loved ones, and many others were killed by these bombs. In order to see that they are not used again, I keep saying, this is wrong, this is wrong. I keep screaming for the abolition of nuclear weapons. Those of us who survived the hell of the atomic bombings want to make sure that we have peace without nuclear weapons before we die. 
The peace without nuclear weapons that Brother Ozaki continued to call for has not as yet been realized. However, the wish he had has borne fruit in the form of a certain treaty. This year marks the 76th year since humankind experienced the tragedy of the atomic bombings, and we are now standing on a new horizon with regard to nuclear weapons. When the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons came into force this January, it was the first time in human history that there had been an international law clearly stating that nuclear weapons are unequivocally illegal. The process to make this newly established treaty grow into a universal rule for the world and realize a world free of nuclear weapons will now begin. The point of departure will be the first meeting of state parties to the treaty, which will be held next year. Conversely, however, the danger of nuclear weapons continue to grow. While the nuclear armed nations have a responsibility to uphold the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, and reduce nuclear weapons, Moves such as the public announcement by the UK about increasing the number of nuclear warheads in the, in the country show that dependence on such weapons is actually increasing. Furthermore, the competition to replace existing nuclear weapons with more sophisticated weapons and develop new types of nuclear weapons increases. In order to follow a single path toward a world free of nuclear weapons amidst these two conflicting movements, World leaders must commit to nuclear arms reductions and build trust through dialogue, and civil society must push them in this direction. I hereby appeal to the government of Japan and members of the national diet. As the country that is most aware of the tragic consequences of nuclear weapons, Please join as an observer to the first meeting of state parties to the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons in order to look into ways to develop this treaty. With regard to the stipulation in the treaty to provide assistance to victims of the use of testing of nuclear weapons, surely this is an area where Japan and its government can contribute more than any other country. In addition, Please sign the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons and see to its ratification at the earliest possible date. While adhering to the war renouncing principle of peace in the Japanese constitution, please look into building a nuclear weapon free zone in Northeast Asia that would create a non nuclear umbrella instead of a nuclear umbrella and be a step in the direction of a world free of nuclear weapons. I hereby appeal to the leaders of nuclear armed nations and countries under these uh, nuclear umbrellas. You must face the reality that thinking of nuclear weapons as necessary to defend your countries under nuclear deterrence actually makes the world a more dangerous place. I ask you to see that substantial progress towards nuclear disarmament is made at the next NPT review conference, starting with greater steps by the US and Russia to reduce nuclear weapons. To everyone living on this earth, due to the coronavirus pandemic, we have experienced on a global scale the loss of everyday aspects of our lives that we previously took for granted. We have learned that in order to overcome this crisis, it is necessary for each and every one of us to think of ourselves as concerned parties and act appropriately. Now, we all ponder together the question of how we can build an even better future when the pandemic is over instead of just returning to the way things were before. It is the same with nuclear weapons. Are we members of the human race going to choose a future in which we continue to maintain nuclear weapons that will pollute the earth and doom humanity? Hasn't the time come for us to raise our individual voices as it's been done in the movements for decarbonization and sustainable development goals, 
and speak out against the dangers inherently in nuclear weapons in order to bring about change in the world. May Nagasaki be the last place to suffer an atomic bombing. These words are sent from Nagasaki to people all over the world. Hiroshima will eternally be remembered in history as the first place to suffer an atomic bombing. But whether Nagasaki continues to take its place in history as the last place to suffer an atomic bombing depends on the future we build, build for ourselves. The unchanging resolve of the Hibakusha to see that no one in the world ever goes through that experience again is expressed in these words, as is the goal clearly stated in the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. It is a hope that each and every one of us should con continue to hold on to. Let us share these words with the people of the world and follow a clear path towards a nuclear-free world over 25-year period that begins this year and bring us to the 100th anniversary of the atomic bombings. While joining forces with young people of the last generation to directly hear the voices of the Hibakusha, Nagasaki will continue to communicate the truth about what happened 76 years ago, facts that must never be forgotten. The average age of Hibakusha is now over 83. I ask that the government of Japan uh, provides improved support for the Hibakusha and relief measure, measures for those who experienced the atomic bombings but have not yet received official recognition as bombing survivors. Ten years have now passed since the Great East Japan earthquake and its aftermath. We will not forget what happened in Fukushima. We extend from the bottom of our hearts a call for encouragement to all those in Fukushima who continue to face a variety of hardships. While extending our deepest condolences to those who lost their lives to the atomic bombs, I hereby declare that Nagasaki will work tirelessly alongside Hiroshima and all people who desire peace to spread a culture of peace around the world and bring about the abolition of nuclear weapons and the realization of eternal peace. Taue Tomihisa, Mayor of Nagasaki, August 9th, So I hope you can still hear me. And uh, so, yeah, at least um, we are able to hear, I mean, that's a translation of uh, Mr. Uh, Tawe, Mayor Tawe's uh, speech. And so um, I think I put the site, if you are interested in going to the site of uh, address is on a, uh, well, it's actually a private chat, I guess, but before. And um, so I just share it now too, if you're interested in hearing, uh, seeing uh, actually. And um, so this time we'll continue. Uh, Chris? Yes. Um... Thank you. I now want to introduce the Brooklyn Interdenominational Choir. This choir celebrates the diverse cultures and neighborhoods of Brooklyn and New York City. These talented musicians are committed to bringing people together through music.
Should we go to our religious leaders now? TK. Okay, I'm sorry about the video. Other religious leaders have joined us tonight. So I welcome first Dr. Kazuko Tatsumura, president of the Gai Holistic Foundation. Thank you very much. Oh, came off. You're still here. We can hear you. Yes, we, we can hear you. Kasko san, onegaishimasu. Kasko Dr. Kazuko? Hello. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. As you might know, the word Gaia means our planet Earth in Greek. Gaia, which is our planet Earth, is allowing all the lives to coexist in harmony with each other on this planet. Everything exists and are living, helping each other in accordance with the law of nature. Trees, sun and moon and stars, wind and air, water, fire, trees and grasses, rocks and earth, rivers, mountains and oceans, birds, animals, insects, fish. We all came from very same source from universe, way back, very beginning of Gaia. And we are allowed actually to live temporarily on this planet Gaia, thanks to Gaia. My life force itself is a part of Gaia. My mind and thoughts are the manifestation of mind of Gaia. Whatever happens on this planet Gaia belongs and matters to myself and to all the sentient beings on this planet Gaia. With this thought, I think this moment thoroughly, I live this moment thoroughly in accordance, in harmony with other life forces, coexisting, cooperating, and peace with themselves. We human have been given very special brain and mind to excel throughout the history. We try to conquer other social species of lives because of this simple greed and misconception, thinking this was the advancement of our humanity. We human destroyed many things on this planet as a part of nature. Worst of all, human history is repeated attempt to, to destroy other fellow humans for greed, for land, and for power. The technique of weapons advanced so much. For this purpose, the human eventually destroyed, developed and uh, nuclear weapons and used them for Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Japan was destroyed. But nowadays, we Japanese take and accept this incident as if it were one of the natural disasters like caused every year in Japan. Perhaps this was the way to bear the incident in Japanese mind in the long run. But this is wrong. 76 years has passed. Today, we should realize and contemplate what it means for humankind and our planet Gaia herself and everything in, on the, living on the Gaia. We should think about today why weapons is still es escalating. How can we stop? Shintoism is not a religion like other religions. It has no one God, or rather Kami, God, 
existing everywhere on this planet. We say millions of kami exist everywhere. Our universe itself is kami. I would like to give blessing on all the moment today, peace ceremony in Shinto style, with deepest gratitude and appreciation. Kakemaku mo kashikoki izanagi no okami. Fukushi no mukanji no tachibana no odo no. Awajihara ni misogi hara itamashi. Toki ni narimaseru hara edo no okami tachi. Moromoro no magato no sumi kegare wa aramu beto. Hara etamai kiyomi tamai to mousu koru wa. Kiko shimese to kashikomi kashikomi mousu. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Katsumura. Now I'd like to introduce Guru Dilip Kumar Takapan, President of the World Yoga Community. Knowledge, Doctor Reverend Doctor T K Nagagaki continuously put his dedication to bring this memorial service, interfaith peace gathering, to commemorate Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombings. And the Hiva Foundation and all the board members and the MCs, all the prayer leaders artists, musicians, bringing peace on earth through our cooperation. God never created us to fight. God created us to love and care about each other. But some people may make mistakes and make others in trouble. I hope this type of prayer service bring awareness around the globe to stop all the nuclear weapons. I never carry any of the weapons in with me. I have only one weapon in my hand, in my body, that is love. Masses used to say, begin the day with love, fill the day with love, spend the day with love, end the day with love. That's the way to the God. We may grow up in different culture or different countries. We speak different languages. We eat different food. We wear different attire. Does it matter? In, the, in front of the universe, we all are brothers and sisters to help each other and care about every single being around the world. I hope our leaders will wake in the future and destroy all the nuclear weapons and create a beautiful earth for us to live, for the future generation to live peacefully. Thank you, everyone. Keep 
with the silent meditation with the bell. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Tatapa. And, and now we welcome Rosemary Pace, representing Pax Christi, a section of the International Catholic Peace Movement. Thank you. Dear God of peace, we come to you today and every day pleading for the grace to work tirelessly to abolish nuclear weapons and all weapons that threaten and destroy your magnificent creation. We beg your forgiveness for our failure to accomplish this already. We mourn the horrific effects of the nuclear bombings of 76 years ago the extreme, almost indescribable suffering they caused to hundreds of thousands of your people at that time and in the ensuing years. We must prevent such devastating death and destruction from ever happening again. We seek the skill to transform hearts and minds from faith in nuclear weapons to faith in compassion and cooperation across borders all kinds of borders. We pray that those who profit from the nuclear weapons industry will reassess their priorities and put people and the survival of our planet first. God of love, embrace the Hibakusha with your care. God of mercy, protect us from our own violent tendencies. God of all times, grant us a future of peaceful coexistence and interdependence. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, we near the end of our presentation tonight. Reverend TK will close this section with thoughts and prayers. Reverend TK. So I hope you can see me now. Okay, so thank you very much for all the prayers. Somehow August 5, August 8, both day, prayer pass works very well. So for some reasons. And um, so I think that's a part of the blessing that we have. And also this is called Interface Peace Gathering. And uh, so Interface, you know, because revision Sometimes, sometimes, or also many times too, in one way too, but become a good way. It's a source of communities, bringing a face together, people together. But when we come to the outside of our own faith, our own community, then they change sort of like a little differently. So I think that's one thing that uh, we need to figure. So the interfaith is one way to bring everybody together and uh, instead of, you know, I'm better than the others and so forth, but rather it's just uh, try to understand what the other positions, what the other belief. And then each one, of course, has a long tradition uh, that should be respected. And now, uh, so we are here uh, to um, share our thoughts, our different gods, Buddha, Bodhisattvas, all the different traditions that uh, we call different names. And uh, so those are very, very important uh, aspect, I believe. I thought I believe when I started anyway. And I, uh, as I said, that was a 20, 1994 I started. So this is a 28th year. Um, so this means during those time, I was thinking, so how important that those face together, you know, in order to create the peace, you know, it's doesn't have to, and if you, you you're alone it's easy to create the peace possibly 
But then when you start working with other people that also become uh, disturb the peace and so forth. And sometimes they may consider the peace is disturbed by because of other people like those. And so, but instead, uh, you know, we need to really develop more way to respect others' value, others' view. And um, so that's one of the reasons um, when I started to organize the peace ceremony, we really wanted to have all different faiths together. Otherwise, you know, we cannot really create the peace on this earth. Um, so the earth is getting, you know, globalization means, yeah, many people are living and we just start respecting more. You can't, you know, uh, what do you call it, push them out because I don't like them and stuff like that. But, but also, you know, it's a human society, but also there's an animal society, there's an earth society, you know, the, the trees and all those things too. So those all should be sort of the respected and then the take care of each other and learn from each other. And then that that's one of the uh, important aspects for me. You know, the nuclear weapon is one thing, but then of course it's very, very important. I mean, why do we need such uh, weapons? But at the same time, you know, we always wanted to bring the peace among each other. I mean, simple things, to be kind to each other, just try to, though. of course, you know, we get angry sometimes. Of course, we get angry and frustrated. <laughs> like, a, this is a frustration for today for me, I guess. But yet, I don't have to get angry. <laughs> I hope um, this, you know, so instead of try to get angry and then break this uh, computer, <laughs> what's happening to this computer? Sometimes people do that. and uh, But instead, maybe, you know, this is something that this is teaching me something today. So, um, and so, so there's a way to be, I guess, friend with the, uh, the even like this the system that we have today. We we'll have a lot of trouble, maybe, but yet, uh, you know, that that's the part of the life that we have. So, my prayer for today is really uh, important to start getting open eyes, open ears, and uh, maybe wider perspective. Because for me, also. Uh, after I came to the United States, I started seeing myself from the different, you know, perspective. I uh, jokingly talk many times too, but, you know, um, when we talk about the war, you know, that before among the country they fight, and then later, then the country get together, but then <laughs> fight with the other countries. But now, now uh, maybe we need to probably have, you know, no fighting uh, even among the country. So maybe if any, you know, alien people come to attack to the earth, maybe, you know, that's the only time maybe, only actually that's the time probably all the country can get together. But, uh, but in the end, the, how big the, your, your eyes or views going to be. So that bring the uh, sense of um, uh, differences and appreciate differences instead of, I don't like this way, that way, but then the you know we just respect different differences. So, um, so the again, once again today, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki Day brings people together. And then the nice part for me right now that I'm thinking was the you know Japan and the U.S. is fighting you know before or during World War II, but then after all those tragedy happened somehow I feel like it's getting more closer relationship. And those things are very important, you know, because maybe we may fight, but yet in the end, we can understand each other. We are all human beings. We have, you know, we share some values together. We don't, nobody wanted to be killed and nobody, you know, each one has their precious life. I mean, th those things are, I think, essential for peace. And if we really feel that way, why do we need a weapon to you know, how other my friends, you know, my own families and stuff like that. So, um, so that's the the point that I'd like to share. And I would like to once conclude this part, but then the, after everybody leave, what I'm going to do is I wanted to share the video. I, I think, I don't know that, what is the situation when I practice, uh, when I tried it before it worked. So I'm hoping that this will 
uh, give at least the time. And then we do have a lot of uh, nice video. You know, people spend a lot of time uh, to make the video and they contribute to the piece for us today. So I just don't want it to waste their efforts. So, you know, I, w right now already 10.30. So if you like to stay with me, but you can turn it off and then go to the, you know, the uh, YouTube or whatever still going on. And then the, maybe Facebook Live. And so what I'm just going to do is continue, try to <laughs> play all those uh, video that they make. And uh, those are very wonderful. They spend a lot of time. So I really appreciate it. And also my apology to, you know, uh, all of the people uh, who I try to make, make it possible, but somehow still not make it possible. But I will make it possible. I, I mean, at least I'm yeah of ox so which means i never give up i just go forward until everything comes together so that's kind of a same idea for the piece you know that I, i'll just keep going towards the piece and so uh so same idea today so if you like to you know stay with me you're welcome to do and uh, it's time to go to bed then <laughs> please go to bed and uh so I would like to uh, ring the bell and then do a short prayer from my tradition of uh, Buddhism. And um, so join me in Gashio, place your palms together. しゅじょしゅじょいごぐじゃがいしゅじょおしゅじょしゅじょしゅじょいしゃがひぶぐぐじゅむじょじゃじゅぎぅぐじょじゃじっぽごじゃしょぶつにょらいかいぐさんだん
hopefully uh, I will uh, make uh, many people leave. But then the, after that, uh, I think uh, reception should be better. So uh, I, I will see. I mean, hopefully that works. Because um, so that's why I'm sorry that no intention to kick you out, but yet I have to kick many people out from there. And then the, we will start uh, continue to the uh, this portion of uh, video. And uh, I hope that we'll uh, do the things that, that I wanted to do today. So uh, first, maybe I will introduce it for everyone and uh, we with my honor and with my really appreciate, you know, what people did for the for this ceremony. And that feeling itself, you know, make me feel, oh, yeah, that's something that I wanted to continue. And then, I mean, that's one of the reasons I was able to continue. So, I mean, if you are interested in joining, you can bring your coffee or, you know, tea or anything. And then, but at the same time, when you look at it, you watch it, then I uh, hope you will get some interesting message and that you can learn. And then how you can, you know, be a peacemaker or practice your, you know, practice the peace within, you know, uh, daily, daily life and so forth. So, so, so that's what I would like to do at this point. And um, let me see. So I want to start, as I said, the the exhibition that we always have a, a a bomb atomic bomb exhibitions because uh, sometimes we need to know what what's going to happen i mean that's you know the it happens like 75 years ago so the atomic bomb itself is not as strong as the atomic bomb that we have nuclear weapons is much 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 stronger but then the even that primitive weapons can kill so many people and uh, in a hiroshima and nagasaki and so, so I want you to know sort of how dangerous to have such weapons. You know, any weapons are dangerous, but yet this particular weapons are really, uh, you know, you can't use it really. So why do we have it? I mean, so, so the um, parts of the exhibition have uh, some photos from the, uh, what do you call it, um, um, Ebum uh, Museum from Hiroshima. And so that will be follow of the talks uh, about the people who create some arts uh, based upon their understanding of peace. So, you know, so they're expressing the idea of peace from based upon what they have, not, you know, we're looking for someplace else, but rather each one have something to offer. And if each one of us offer all those talent for the peace, I'm sure, you know, the, the we can do something and we can change some parts of that the thinking also so so that with that i would like to show the uh, share this so hopefully this time you can watch a little better and um so i don't know how many of you are here but then let's start okay
Hi, this is Toshiko Kobayashi, an art therapist, lives in New York, and I have been here for more than 20 years now. And I have been promoting Origami Therapy Association for almost like 20 years. And I have been practicing origami as a therapy for a long, long time. I uh, started to fold origami when I was like three, four years old. At that time, that was just after the war, Second World War. And I enjoyed origami, learning from my parents, my grandparents and uh, my siblings and friends. And one of the things that symbolic to me was crane. Crane was a very difficult origami. As you know, everybody loves crane folding. Almost every single Japanese people can fold. It's a symbolic piece. And especially after the war, everybody started to fold crane to bring that to Hiroshima and Nagasaki and uh, for the memory of people who lost their lives there. And also, it's not just for the peace, but the peace for ourselves. For example, like a disaster happened 2011, March 11th, the earthquake and the terrible accident of nuclear power plant. We folded a lot of lots of thousand crane to pray for the peace for the people who are living there. When you are folding origami, you become mindful. You don't think about anything else but you, your relationship with paper and origami and your fingertips bugs activate your brain and in Japanese we call it fingers are second brain. So hope you use your fingertip to fold origami and keep young, keep yourself young and healthy. This is a very important day because those two cities are the only place where we experience the atomic bomb and we know how it was disastrous. And so uh, we shouldn't forget about this. And we've been very lucky there hadn't been any other city exposed to the nuclear weapon yet. But it has been very dangerous too. So keep praying for the peace and hope everybody not to use nuclear power and even the nuclear power plant, I am not comfortable using it. So solar system and uh, the, the other part, the other way of using uh, natural resources would be perfect for electricity also. Praying for peace. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Taisan Tanaka, I'm Japanese calligrapher, I'm based in New York City. I donated a few works to the Atomic Bomb Memorial event. Misa Nakagaki. Thank you for creating the Atomic Bomb Memorial event every year. Thank you so much. Please let me know if you need help anytime. I can help you anytime. So, I have a wish. We can make beautiful things. We can help and make each other smile. Of course, we want peace. Peace is everyone and yourself being happy. Thank you so much. Bye. 
Hello. Greetings from Leiden, Holland. I'm Molly Ackerman, the painter, and my husband, Fred Rode, the photographer, is making this video for you. I made a series called The Circle of Love. There's 360 paintings in this series. That's how many degrees there are in a circle. Now, the idea behind this series is to connect, connect people around the world. We've traveled to many places exhibiting these paintings along with Fred's photographs. We've exhibited them in the Hiroshima City Museum. We've uh, exhibited them in, in Rosecom in Fukuyama, in Tokyo. We've exhibited them in Korea, in different museums as well. New York, Holland, Belgium, Austria, Spain, in many countries. And the idea behind it is that we are all a part of the whole, the circle. We are all a part of what goes on in this world. If we can bring with us love to every table, we can change this world. We can change this world with hope and love and kindness. Now, if you look at the paintings, you can see the connecting aspect of each one is the circle and the square. These are elements of the most elementary uh, shapes. And you can see that they're made with different colors and they're all made with love. And I hope to transcend the, the painting idea and bring you the spirit behind it. Because the idea of hope is so much more important than destroying things. Please remember that we're all part of one planet and one people, and there really isn't any difference between us. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome to my garden. Bye, TK. Bye, friends of TK. Hope to see you soon in New York. Hello everyone, this is my video message from Japan. My name is Natsuko Hattori. I'm an artist using a fabric to create sculptures. This is my artwork. The title is Hidamari. It means sunny spot. I offer this work with a wish and hope that the light of the sun can break through the darkness of discrimination and bring peace to our society. I had a solo exhibition at the Wall Street Journal building in Manhattan. I have also collaborated with Ikebana Flower Artists twice for exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum and have taught a mixed media class at the 92nd Street Y. I live in New York from 2010 to 2019. Now I live in my hometown, Kokura. Kokura was the original target from the second atomic bomb. It was a primary target because there were many weapon factories there. However, the day, August 9, in 1945, Kokura was cloudy with poor visibility. That's why the target was changed to Nagasaki. When I was a child, my mother many times to me, if the bar was dropped in Kokura, you would not have to be born. Both Hiroshima and Nagasaki tried to tell the story of the atomic bomb. However, I feel Kokura had a few opportunities to think about it. I left Japan in 2010 and went to New York. Although there were many races, many language, spoken, religion, and idea in one place there, I could see people respecting each other as individuals and helping each other. Of course, I also experienced some discrimination, 
but more often I instead was helped by many people from different cultures and countries. I believe that accumulation of cross-border friendships, knowing the other person, culture, history, meeting each person will lead to peace. Japan is a small island. Even on this small island, there were many types of discrimination that occur. Discrimination is easy and easy for everyone to do. That's why we have to always stop and think ourselves, ask ourselves before we act. Is this really discrimination or not? If everyone will ask that themselves, there would not be war. In Japan, the end of the war continued. There were people who are still alive, who still feel the war in their lives, including Okinawa. In the true sense of peace, we have no choice but to build up one by one. When I was young, there were many people still had uh, experienced the war and I had the opportunity to hear from them directly. But how many people can tell their children about their war experience now? All we can do is connecting the story with someone who has heard the directly. These days, we can go to different countries and international extent is easier than in the past. From now on, I think it is important for each person to understand the other person, hold a hand, become good friends on equal footing with the other person and respect the other person. I still waiting the vaccine, but when I can, I will go to New York again. I'm happy to able to participate in this project again. Thank you very much. Bye. I'm Carletta Joy Walker, and I'll be reading an excerpt from Peace is Sanity 3 from the book Peace Building, a Manual for Living Peacefully Every Day. Sometimes peace is a short story. A peace come before war arises, every tear mended over tea and toast with jam or coffee or juice or wine. Many times it's a long story, tall and embellished in an effort of prevention, a good tale pushed to excellence to capture and capture again, the war thirsty, eager to get at another's throat, but become held by the threads of a very fine tale until finally the tiredness and the good tea, the well-blended spices in the food, the ripe grapes, lush apricots and figs calm the lust and ears hear this story carrying such beautiful peace in each word. A banquet of peace for the bloodthirsty who begin to eat from each other's plates, drink from each other's cups, dance together, themselves becoming a story of peace. Thank you. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Do you hear or no? Are you able to hear? Yes, we hear you. Oh, okay. So if you like, you can we can talk. <laughs> and, uh, so how do you like this part? Of, uh, so, yeah, there's a all, all speakers gave a wonderful talk, I believe. So, uh, if you want to share any thoughts, please do. And um, I know this is not, not the plan, but uh, since we are here, <laughs> so it might be nice to share your thoughts sometimes. And then I'll next, of course, I'll prepare the next video as we do. Mm, it's all very moving. 
Yeah. Um, I was in Nagasaki seven years ago. Uh -huh. So, and I wanted to be in Hiroshima this October, but I guess it's not going to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, because that, that's very difficult. Yeah, yeah, especially the coronavirus is getting so bad. Even like in Nagasaki today, you know, they're just announcing, you know, the kind of alert for the coronavirus mm. so it's going to be a little for a while i guess it's going to be settled so, but then, uh, yeah go ahead but it will always be in my heart you know i was there the evening and uh, the day of the ceremony mm. and um, it was very moving um, mm -hmm. yeah it's so mm. Yeah, next I uh, will probably start showing one by one, you know, <laughs> the, the beginning to the things that we wanted to start with was the uh, opening uh, kind of peace lights. So calm down our mind. So in a way, this is a, I, I don't know if you are <laughs> able to join me or it's fine. So we just do a short uh, kind of a meditative ways. And um Maybe we can just do the this one to the end, maybe. Huh? <laughs> maybe nice to conclude, but then but then if I do it, I forget. So that's why I decide to do it. But now maybe you can take a break and then come back to or at the same time this is the time to see the lights. So this is the peace lights one of you know the uh, the Regina uh, presents. So so and then at the same time we have a photo coming. Uh, uh, one from the Hiroshima, one from the Nagasaki. So maybe we start like a five minutes or so. So maybe people can see this too. It looks like we have about 30 people still with us. So. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. good. So maybe they can enjoy. And sometimes we can share the, you know, actually the the chat. I didn't share. Maybe, maybe you can start like, uh, let me see who is here. But... Um, Right. Oh, I shouldn't do anything when this one is going on, so I'll stop. So the things that I was going to show is to the side here, right? So, but um, um, <laughs> let me first exit this one sorry let me move, remove other one then you can see much faster going okay i'm just sharing some of the you know the the email the message that i received uh during this time sorry you know it's, it's hard to do during this time but and uh, do you see the bar? Yeah. So some people who gave uh, thoughts, so you can see. Oh, that's our friend <laughs> Sandra. Is watching. George Lu, thank you for watching. Makisa. Also, here is a photograph from the Kenka from the Hiroshima. Uh, Seven Rivers Photo Club.
And this is a photo from uh, Nagasaki. After this, I was introduced to today's event. So, so this is how, you know, supposed to be going from the beginning parts. But, um, but we have a wonderful speaker people coming today. So I thank you so, so much for that. And now we can also do some uh, other Maybe a little upbeat. Yeah, Shinji Arasan, so he couldn't, uh, I, I cannot show it, but this time it should be uh, able to view better. So we'll, we'll watch his play, uh, uh, the performance for first Nagasaki. And um... hi, everyone. My name is Shinji Harada. I'm a singer-songwriter based in Japan, and I have been performing overseas these past years. In the midst of the global pandemic due to COVID-19 since last year, we have come to a crossroads where we have to think about many things and choose our future. Do we open the door to the idea that only what matters is your own good, or the door to the idea that we should help one other. We already know the answer to that question. That's why we are now all facing this challenge that confronts the entire human race. World harmony and world peace is the, another challenge. Each one of us must put aside our selfishness and choose to live our lives with love and compassion for others. True world peace will be achieved when this desire reached and every one of us expands to the point where the hearts of over 7 billion people are directed in the same way towards kindness. Let's fight the virus of selfishness that causes violence and brutality to others and cure it with the powerful vaccine of kindness. This predicament that has befallen all of humanity has an opportunity to reclaim kindness and start walking towards true world peace. Now is the time to turn adversity into opportunity and practice acts of kindness. Anyone can be a lighthouse that lights up the world around us. We can create a peaceful and wonderful future together. It is up to each and every one of our lives to make it happen. Let's believe and step forward. Let us shine our light and move forward to the light of a greater future. Nagasaki kala hajime yo All right Come on Nagasaki kala hajime yo I 
A single light through maybe small, but together the light will be strong enough to spread all over the world. So please become part of this light, and together let's change the world. The songs I will sing is called "The Light." Just breathe deeply. Stay with me until you know. Every 
Oh, sorry. So I just wanted to show some of the things that we received the donation. And so I wanted to thank you for the support. And uh, so, um, yeah, uh, let's see. So the, so in between, I uh, appreciate for uh, the people's support for these things. And um, it should be the video. Oops. Did it stuck again? We lost TK for a moment. Please support Hewa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation so we can do more events like this. And a replay will be available later, as you can see in the ticker. Going, I'm not sure whether this is still going on live or I wasn't too sure. No, it didn't, didn't happen. Hmm? We didn't see it. Oh, okay. No. What, so, so I guess still, oh, also oh, some people are still watching and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So <laughs> I don't know, we will just continue for the different things, anything. Um, so I just wanted to share some of the things that, yeah, I guess the, the, because uh, we uh, received some donation and uh, with a peace message. So I thought, you know, that's wanted to really acknowledge that uh, people may be gone, but yet, uh, you know, we really appreciate their, you know, support. Without those support, we can't um, have this kind of uh, gathering all the time, many times. So, yes, and uh, is uh, oh, maybe I will take this one. Oh, sorry, so you can see. But then that do donations are uh, appreciated. And uh, so these some of the friends for other part. And then the, some people that don't have a peace message, but they just donate to us. So I appreciate very much for their support. Because that's, uh, so I'm just going around. And um, yeah, the, the so Furumoto-san, Mr. Furumoto has been always uh, supporting for our events and uh, yeah, Shinji's and his, his fans are also supporting from that sense. And uh, yeah, that Tomiko-san, that which I'm going to show it to you next, I'm thinking, because we stop in between. So she also kindly donate for us. And uh, Chris, <laughs> your, your name is there too. And uh, Esther Young and uh, Bowman's Bowman Lamet, Big Oops, just gone. <laughs> but and uh, some of the people, although it was a very short notice, but we really appreciate those help that we get. So anyway, um, we move the studio from the parts of the commercial, <laughs> I guess. But uh, I I think it's yeah, important to have you know how we can use the you know, money, so, but then we, if the, uh, even the money, sometimes when I, when I grew up, the money is something you shouldn't touch or something like that, you know, there's like evil things or something like that. But yet, I guess the, uh, everything has a way to bring uh, peace um, or happiness. And so, uh, so from that sense, I think, uh, you know, the money could be very useful for, you know, support the peace movements and, uh, so, and then, the, you know, even like this year, I realized so many peace groups are doing a lot of different activities. And, uh, and then 
peace group tend to be a little poor, but yes, some people, you know, some place may have more funding, so we can do many other things too. So, so that would be uh, great to have the cir circular of the money, and then the, so then that bring them more peace and uh, more programs and stuff like that. So that would be ideal too. And uh, also, um, so this time, as I mentioned, for the Tomiko-san, the speech. The, uh, Hibakusha, uh, so this is a little bit. We just started. I know it's nine years old now, but uh, when Atami Farm dropped, I was only 13. So that was a long time ago. However, I still can remember every little thing as it happened yesterday, but I have forgotten all the bad things happened to me, and my life is perfect right now. So. Uh, I'd like you to know that. Uh, however, I lost my husband three, three and a half years ago, and I did it by myself, but uh, uh, everyone is very good to me, and uh, I am the luckiest person in the whole world. So, about the atomic bomb, that was uh, 8.15 to be exact, on August 6, 1945, and uh, uh, at that time, we didn't go to, uh, we had to give up the uh, uh, pen and the notebook, you know. So we had to go to uh, work in the government factory to support the uh, uh, war affair. So anyway, so I was on the outside of this factory and uh, I saw the B-29 flying, and uh, I recognized the sound of the uh, B-29. And uh, so it was only one plane. I looked up and I said, oh. they were just uh, taking the pictures as they came very often before that. So in the Sunday, the, uh, I saw the flash coming out of the uh, airplane. And uh, right after that, everything started falling down and I cover myself, and, and, uh, and anyways, uh, everything that right before that happened already, fire was coming from behind me. So only thing I could do was to uh, uh, run away from fire, and I ended up in this uh, uh, mountain, which is called Koi in Hiroshima. And uh, so we had to stay there for a couple of days, and uh, I, I saw that. Hiroshima burning from the mountain, and the teacher said that uh, we can go home if uh, your family could come to pick you up. And of course, how would I have known then? My family was dead. But anyway, so uh, later on, I was promised to uh, uh, leave for home, and my home was on the other side of Hiroshima. Uh, it's called Mount Hiji. So I had to go across the entire uh, Hiroshima city to get to my home. And the site between this Koi mountain to Hiroshima you know, to go home was travel site. The most impressive thing I remember was little baby was sucking on mom's breast and the mom was dead. But then, you know, Nothing I could do. I had to keep on moving. And I came to this, the bridge was all down. So I had to go find the bridge where I could. Hiroshima had the seven rivers, and then we had to go across the bridge no matter, uh, you know, which way you go. And this one bridge I could go was a railroad bridge. So it's like a, between the railroad ties is, is a water. And if you fall down, you just have to go to the ocean with the rest of the people. But I even managed to uh, go across that. And, and uh, <clears throat> I finally arrived where my home was. And of course, it was uh, burnt. And uh, the man uh, who used to work for us, he said, uh, I didn't see your mom, but I saw your uh, grandmother and uh, grandfather. So I said, where were they? So they went to the um uh, TG had a cave dug in there for to survive from the uh, you know bombing, and so 
So when I got there, they, they were alive. And uh, my grandfather's uh, back was uh, uh, all pierced with uh, broken glasses. And my grandmother, she she was almost incoherent. But then uh, to make long story longer, to make a long story shorter, my grandfather died there. And uh, then my grandmother died as uh, as she followed him. And at that time, we still had a Japanese soldier because war did not end to 15th of August. And soldiers came and they were trying to collect all the uh, uh, dead people. And I, I was only 13. I stood up to those soldiers. You are not taking my grandfather. I will burn him myself, which I did. And so that was some experience for me. But since I had a, such a bad experience when I was young, every day I wake up is uh, such a peaceful day. And I am most grateful. And I think I learned to appreciate everything I have right now. And, and so my life is perfect right now. Thanks to everybody. And so I guess I'll end my story. Tanka I made was a semi no nea, kokyo no neto wa koto naredo, nasu ga kita yo to wale ni style. Oh, especially in Hiroshima, where I come from, that in the summertime is all day long that the cicada keeps on chirping, chirping till it's quite annoying almost. So I'm here in Lagrangeville, I'm in country setting, and uh, when I hear a uh, cicada chirping, I think of Hiroshima very often, but uh, sound is quite different between uh, two countries, so that's why I made this uh, tanka uh, about uh, uh, how different it is. And cicada uh, uh, chirps differently in Japan, I mean Hiroshima and here, but the uh, uh, message is the same. Sama is near. So, so is it okay? Thank you so much. So, the, yeah, thank you, Tomiko-san. That was very wonderful. Because, um, uh, yeah, I remember for Japan, when, when I was in Japan also, the summertime always, you know, from the early morning, the cicada is always, you know, making a lot of noise. And it's not like a nice sound, but it's more like a really annoying sound, as she said. And so... But then the that's the same morning too. I mean, sometimes we, we don't see, we don't hear those sound. But, you know, even atomic bomb after that, then just gone all of a sudden. But until then, there's all those uh, semi, uh, you know, like cicada is uh, making uh, all those sound. Right. So, so you can just sort of uh, feel not just a nice sky but a, the blue sky but then the, because of the summer sweating kind of a expecting hot weather with the you know the, all those uh, um cicadas um voices so 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 that's the something that she yeah wrote it so that's the moment for the uh, yeah japan so sometimes when you see the japan there's some sound is always going on like you know the peace ceremony even today for the nagasaki and uh, hiroshima at that time that before too so so that's something that uh, adding so actually i just wanted to uh if it's okay this although this is um uh sound that the sake that that he, she was talking about Actually, we just have a little break, and then we have a little uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, sound of coming down our mind, but then with the sound of bell from the Hiroshima Peace Park, but with the sound of cicada 
maybe that may because since she talked about uh, she create those uh, uh, poem, I thought it might be a little kind of nice to hear the particular bell and then together with the cicada. If that works. Yes. So how was it kind of really? <laughs> I, I don't know whether you enjoy or not, but it's, uh, yeah. I don't know, have you ever the in Japan summer? Oh, I don't hear you, I guess. I was, but I didn't notice. I was in Tokyo. Maybe I didn't hear it in Tokyo. Oh, that was, no. Yeah. Because that's that's mm -hmm. summertime is it's like the <laughs> data is all over the place and uh, mm -hmm. but you know in a way when I was you know little it's a time to wake up and then go somewhere it's the summertime so you know it'll be nice to enjoy <laughs> that's the kind of feeling that I have but, mm -hmm. but in the it's, yeah it's uh, hot summer summer. So, yeah. and then uh, one more song actually. Shinji. Hi everyone, my name is Shinji Harada. I'm singing song. But also, there's another song that he just. So I just wanted to listen to one more song from Shinji. So, yeah, because she's supposed to come two days also, but the, somehow we can't do that. All right, so enjoy the. Hey everyone, this is Shinji Harada. First of all, I send my deep gratitude to the people working hard every day to prevent the spreading of COVID-19, especially the healthcare workers who are fighting on the front line. To get through this difficult time, please try to get as much sun and refresh your body and soul. Please do not forget to be kind to the ones around you, and let's keep on moving forward together. I'll do my best too. Let's together believe that we can get past this very soon. All right.
My name is Koji Sato, and I am Vice President of the Japanese American Association of New York. I would like to thank Reverend Nakagaki for inviting me to say a few words at this event. This year marks the 76th year after the atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I'm sure that the people of Hiroshima and Nagasaki 76 years ago would have never imagined what would happen on August 6th in Hiroshima and August 9th on, in Nagasaki. I pray to all the lives that were lost on those days and how the lives of those that survived those days have been damp changed forever due to the effects of radiation. August 6th and August 9th, 1945, will also forever affect the lives of the generations of descendants of all the survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. As a father, it is my hope that my children and future grandchildren will never have to experience a world where nuclear weapons will be used again. The world must reflect on the devastating effects of nuclear weapons and that it can never destroy the lives of so many people again. I join with all the other speakers to wish peace on earth. We are all people on this earth and must work together in order to prevent wars. War is extremely destructive to the lives of so many people. And it's my hope that we all have all learned from the devastation of World War I and World War II in order that there is never a World War III. With the advancement of nuclear weapons, the next world war will certainly lead to the use of nuclear weapons. It is hoped that the world leaders understand the devastation that the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki caused and that it will never be repeated again. Thank you and please spread peace. こんばんは。私は、ティアラグの代表で、ニューヨーク平和ファンデーションの秘書をしております。愛席の友します。去年から世界各国で新型コロナウイルス感染症がもういよ振るっていますが、感染症対策に取り組みつつ、その不安が差
大事な団体です。私はこの団体の秘書として、また協力団体のティアラグループとして、今後とも企画運営に関わりたいと存じます。ニューヨークヘアファンデーションのご講演をいただき、ティアラグループは、広島は明日8月6日朝8時から、長崎は8月9日、お昼十時半から。平和への祈りを開催いたします。本日の。第二十八回。広島長崎。インターフェース平和の集いが。何者にも。脅かされることのない安定した生活への一歩でありますよう。お祈りいたします。ありがとうございました。Thank you, Mr. Sato and Reno. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, <laughs> thank you for the message. Yeah. So,、um, so this time we will still have some more video that I was not able to show, I guess. Uh, this is a message for Hiroshima's, but、uh, Michi Takeuchi, so she's the president of the, you know, the, the Hiroshima Kai right now, but、uh, also you, you just fail in the middle. So I think it's nice to hear the, she's a message from the, what do you call it,、um, uh, Mayor、um, Matsui from the Hiroshima, Ken, I mean, first Hiroshima city. So maybe we could hear from her. And、uh, so, thank you. Good evening. My name is Michi Takeuchi. I am the president of New York Hiroshima Association. I grew up in Hiroshima, and my family survived the atomic bombing. Today, I'd like to share with you the highlights of the peace declaration made by the mayor of Hiroshima. Mayor Matsui. On this day, 76 years ago, a single atomic bomb instantly reduced our hometown to a scorched plain. That bombing brought cruel death to countless innocent victims and left those who managed to survive with profound, lifelong. Physical and emotional injuries due to radiation, fear of after effects, and economic hardship. One survivor who gave birth to a girl soon after the bombing says, A small horror s of the bomb came to light, and I became more concerned about. Their effects, I worried less about myself and more about my child. Imagining the future awaiting my daughter, my suffering grew night after sleepless night. No one else should ever suffer as we have. These words express the wilt of survivors. Who, having to know horrors too painful to recall, were condemned to fear, frustration, and agony by the likely future of their children in their own irradiated bodies. When Hibakusha t e l l their stories, they convey not only the horror and inhumanity of nuclear weapons. But also an intense yearning for peace, born of compassion. Finally, after 75 long years of sustained activity, their demands have moved the international community this year. This year, on January 22nd, the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. TPNW 
entered into effect. It remains now for world leaders to support the treaty, shifting their focus toward a truly sustainable society free from nuclear weapons. The road to abolition will not be smooth, but a ray of hope shines from the young people now taking up the Hibakshas quest. One survival who witnessed held that day and trust our future to the young with these words. Start small, but start. I hope each of you will do whatever you can to promote and maintain the treasure we call peace. I ask our young to sustain an unshakable conviction that nuclear weapons are incompatible with full, healthy lives for their loved ones. I further ask them to share that conviction persuasively with people around the world. Given the uncertainty concerning nuclear weapons derived from stalled disarmament negotiations, I have an urgent demand to make of world leaders. The time has come for a profound tactical shift away from reliant threats and move toward security based on trust derived from dialogue. Experience has taught humanity that threatening others for self-defense benefits no one. Our leaders must understand that threatening rivals with nuclear weapons achieves nothing of value. But treating each other with empathy and building long-lasting friendship connect directly to national self-interest. To that end, I urge all world leaders to visit Hiroshima and Nagasaki, achieve a deeper understanding of the bombings, fulfill the disarmament mandate of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, and join the discussions aimed at maximizing the effectiveness of the TPNW. At this peace memorial ceremony, marking 76 years since the bombing, we offer heartfelt prayers for the peaceful repose of the souls of the atomic bomb victims. Together with Nagasaki and like-minded people around the world, we pledge to do everything in our power to abolish nuclear weapons and light the way toward lasting world peace. Matsui Kazumi, Mayor, the city of Hiroshima. Yeah, so yeah, so uh, that was a little bit longer, but it's actually a shortened part of it. So, uh, and then the now, I think, uh, even like uh, I just received the, sorry, the email from uh, Hiroshima City that uh, the uh, uh, mayor himself is reading the uh, this particular statements also in a video. So, maybe uh, if I can, I will share. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe when I when you uh, watching some more, uh, we'll share if I have. But um, do I share everything, or <laughs> that was my questions? But uh, at the same time, uh, it is uh, just uh, let me share another uh, things. Um, it's the well, the last song also. 
the uh, what do you call it, um, Brooklyn uh, Interdenominational Choir, uh, Blessing the Lord. That was just only the beginning parts that they sang. So I would like to share this too. So, so here we go. It's a little different mood, maybe, but that's yeah, some kind uh, blessing.
see. Yeah, so um, it's almost towards the end. Um, and then uh, uh, thank you for your well, so patient. I mean, as I said, I think we need a patient to be. But at the same time, sometimes when you listen to all those things, it's not it's really the not really the patient, but rather you know somehow the naturally you should be able to continue, and that's the kind of encouragement that I normally receive. And then watching all video, I hope you you know all of you uh, you know receive the kind of energy and. Uh, you know, the goodwill and their wishes for peace, like kind of creating all together the peace that we're living. So, and then each of us should be responsible for the peace for the world. You know, I mean, of course, sometimes we complain this is no good, that is no good, but at the same time, in a way, we need to be responsible. So, uh so this is our society we're part of the society and um that's i think it's very important um i was wondering how many people are still here with us but then i i know that's 1157 there are some comments so which is still there it's almost it's after midnight so i uh, this is uh yeah pretty long so i'm sure this uh you must be all tired and um oh Chris, are you able to show again to this parts of the bottom, I guess? Maybe you can read together for the one that's no more Hiroshima, no more Narasaki. I don't know whether the people can see it, uh, you know, the people who watch the uh, screen, the bottom of the screen, there's the uh, words of uh, it's coming up. So maybe as the ending of uh, today's uh, session. But, before, but, but I just want to make, really make sure <laughs> did we pray everybody's? And um, um, and I don't know. I didn't get the uh, per permission to play some of the one song uh, for today since we played twice, but it didn't work out. <laughs> so after all the patient, I think that that um, the music for um, the Migiwa san create. Uh, might be good to listen and at the same time I hope because people are here who are very patient and then the, I'm sure that that's the kind of music uh, people who bring, who bring the peace and who will be responsible for our world too so I think uh, after we re read this we'll um, maybe listen to it or watch to it okay so together, no more Hiroshima's, no more Nagasaki's, no more wars and violence. Let us cultivate and practice peace and compassion in our hearts, words, and actions. Maybe one more time. No more Hiroshima's, no more Nagasaki's, no more wars and violence. Let us cultivate and practice peace and compassion in our hearts, words, and actions. Maybe last time, the three times is the one that's, that we always do. No more Hiroshima's, no more Nagasaki's, no more wars and violence. Let us cultivate and practice peace and compassion in our hearts, words, and actions.
Yeah, thank you for your patience and staying with us. And I believe um, if it's okay, I think this is a complete song. I mean, first, I think it's a third time is probably a chance to bring. So um, I hope this will be okay to hear. Oh, right before I forgot one more thing. I just need to show this one. Sorry. That is actually the, from yesterday. Uh, it's a prayer from Nagasaki. The people are there, even though it's a rain. So I think it's something appropriate to show uh, how the, this. Typhoon is coming, but many people plans to pray. I feel there, but in spite of that, people gather. Yeah, yeah lots of water yesterday, but still. やっぱりあの、私は専門の生まれだから、あの、当時のことは両親から聞くことしかなかったけれども、やっぱりそういうことをこうやってみんなで繋いでいくということも大事だし、今日もあの親に若い人たちがいっぱいいるわけだから、こうやってみんなで繋いでいくということは、とても大事なことですね。それでやっぱりあの平和を守るということは、その
patience again is something that we need to have to keep so don't get angry so quickly <laughs> so the so if, when you get angry all of a sudden you just destroy something you know so you in spite of any inconvenience that we have you know just probably relax and take it as much as you can and just you know um well there is a day it's not everything doesn't go the way that you want <laughs> in our life so but yet we just do the best that we can to bring the peace in our mind and um so Thank you, Chris. Uh, sorry, very, very end. <laughs> Just this is part of the acknowledgement, probably. I would like to thank uh, Chris, uh, David. Thank you very much for staying with me. Or is almost no choice. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You. I'm glad to help out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so uh, what do you think? So we really finish now. We can with that last. Is that? Um, I think so. Okay. Then the, we finish with listening to the un unfinished song that we have today. And I hope uh, that will be okay for her wish. So, let me see. This is a full song for the Nagasaki matching song, I guess. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, now you can completely each of these music.
thank you very much for everyone to join us. And so grateful uh, for your attendance. So have a good night. Peace to you all. Thank you, Chris. Oh, I have to say thank you for my wife too. She was being helping in many ways to spreading uh, PR and all the other parts. So Heather uh, Haran, thank you so much for also helping this. Too. So and I helping. Thank you, everyone. I mean, a lot of people help in different ways, musicians and the performers, speakers, and uh, all those who wanted to contribute to this. So really appreciate it. And a willingness, their willingness, and that's something very important for us to keep in our mind. Thank you, Chris, again. Uh, have a good night. I hope you'll be OK. <laughs> okay. Thank you, TK. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good night. Good night. Thank you.